thanks for joining us at WISIT Forum 2019, where we celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the event. And throughout the years, connectivity and bringing more people online has always been at the core of discussions here. And to discuss it, I am joined by Mr. Haruo Okamura. You are president of Global Plan Incorporated. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm very delighted to be here. And you were here at WISIS Forum 2019 to present your solution to bring broadband to isolated rural communities. And you have a sample, haven't yes. you? Yes. Tell us more about it. Yeah, that uh, solution has been uh, standardized at ITUT, already published uh, ITUT L.1700 and L.110 and L.163. Those three recommendations identifies the solution unprecedentedly, I think, uh, identifies the requirement for the solution most affordable and it turns the importance order from ordinary you have been uh, working on the reliability important and affordability second but the solution that i have proposed and standardized at itt sc15 mainly is the first priority is affordability and reliability is the second most important attribute that could bring us, make us easy, easier to penetrate broadband into rural areas where economical difficulty is still there. And the, the key is the, uh, the optical fiber cable that I have here based on the submarine cable technologies. As you know, submarine cable suffers from a lot of high pressure, water pressure down to 8,000 meters depth of the sea. But this portion, this is a welded stainless steel pipe very completely welded, laser welded pipe. This is based on the submarine cable technology. And within this pipe, you have a uh, optical fiber in, in here. This is optical fiber up to 48 cores. That brings easy, easily, you know, reduces the construction cost of this cable because this is strong enough so that even monkey cannot break this cable. So you can put the cable on the surface of the ground simply that's it this allows the most affordable solution implementation and this is the world of first i think uh, solution that uh, ex expressly targeting to closing the digital divide okay and it's not just a prototype is it because you no. have been able to actually use it for real in real life uh, this, uh, is circumstances. Real this is the real cable this is uh, uh, in fact have been used in japan in the last 20 years for about 20,000 kilometers, already been commercially used, but never came out of Japan so far, but I just proposed to take this cable to cross the digital divide because the digital, digital divide may be a very big headache in the future if you do not do anything about uh, uh, crossing the digital divide, you will suffer from pandemic or uh, refugees or everything in you know, a hotbed for the headaches. So this is, I'm proudly say that this is the solution that uh, I think hopefully could uh, widely and quickly uh, close the digital divide by using this uh, solution. Absolutely. So is that why it was important for you to attend the forum, to meet other people, maybe other stakeholders who can help you implement this solution on a large scale? Yeah, although this is an uh, affordable solution, but still needs money. If to implement this solution into remote areas, rural area areas in developing countries where economical situation is difficult, you need money. But uh, I am my plan is to upload this kind of solution in the Alibaba or Amazon site. And local people community can directly purchase this cable and implement this cable in a DIY basis, do it yourself, yourself basis. That is the most affordable way to implement optical fiber cable based on the knowledge and the wisdoms of the local people, local society in the best fit way to the local terrain, difficult terrain. So basically this is so that uh, this uh, implementation demands some money from the pocket from the local people this includes DIY. But of course, uh, there are a lot of grants. Uh, currently, uh, I am using a grant from uh, APT, Asia Pacific Telecommunity, that is now working today on 
uh, west part of Nepal, Dar municipality. I've been to Dar municipality just two weeks ago to implement this cable myself and together with the local people uh, teams. So as such, it is uh, working very good after the publication of the ITU standards. That is the third one. Latest one was published in November last year. And I should say that the G L163 is at as of today uh, assigned as the most popular recommendation of oh. ITUT. Well, it's a very interesting solution. Thank you very much for sharing it with us. Thank you.